GPT-4 is eventually here. And you can start working with ChatGPT based on GPT-4. But the sad news is that it's only available for paid users. So if you want to work with GPT-4 actually, you need to pay some money, around $20 per month plus tax. So in this video, I want to share my experience with you and, and actually I want to compare ChatGPT based on GPT-4 to ChatGPT based on GPT-3.5 to see if it's actually worth it to pay this money. So keep watching the video. So as you can see here in the screen, it says ChatGPT+. Plus. It means that I'm able to use GPT-4. And when you are a paid user, actually, you will see something like this. You can choose the model GPT version to actually work with it. So basically ChatGPT is on top of GPT model and GPT core actually. As you can see here, we have three options. The default GPT 3.5 option, it, this is for paid users, for plus users and for regular users, it's also GPT 3.5, but it's legacy. The speed is lower in comparison to the default version. As you can see, also the conciseness is a little bit lower, but the difference between these two models is not that much. But when you look at GPT-4 here, you can see the reasoning is at the maximum level possible here, but the speed in comparison to default GPT-3.5 is much less, but it's pretty much equal to the legacy mode. And legacy mode is basically when you want to use it free without paying a subscription fee. And also here you can see that conciseness is much higher than the 3.5 version. So what I'm going to do today is I want to do some comparisons. First of all, I want to ask ChatGPT to create a web page for me. And then we want to do it both based on 3.5 version and also for version to see what's the difference actually between these two versions. So let's start. So here, first in ChatGPT4, I want to ask it to come up with a homepage of a digital startup with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript code. With the following parts, I want to have logo, website title, main menu, slider with four sample images, and actually I want to say sample PNG images because of my images are in PNG format also including format and footer part also different sections for each item of the main menu so i want to actually when i click on one of the buttons in the main menu i wanted to redirect it to the related section in the same page and i also want it to be responsive so let's see what it does the very first thing you notice here is that the logo here is black is different for GPT-4 and also it's much slower than the normal GPT even if you using the free version but I think that won't be an issue after a few weeks because it's just at the early stages and it makes sense but it's really slow at this point and it could take a couple of minutes to actually to come up with the final result but let's look at what it says here Creating a full website with all the elements you mentioned requires a more in-depth approach than can be provided in a single answer. ChatGPT is going to give us uh, three files, the, the code for these three files, and then we just need to copy these codes and then paste it into our editor and then save it and then look at the end result. I've already asked ChatGPT to give me uh, the same page, so I just need to actually copy that from the last chat I had. So this is the result actually I got from GPT-4 before, and it's going to be a little bit different every time that you enter the same comment, even if the comment is same, the result will be different, but the difference is not that much. At this point, I want to continue with this code here. So let me open my VS code and start implementing these codes. So let's create a folder for 
GPT-4 and inside it I want to create three files index.html a script JS and styles CSS. So let's first copy the HTML code, copy code, and just paste it here. And now let's copy the CSS file, paste it here, and as you can see that at some point ChatGPT stopped writing the code because the length of the code was too much. And it's a little bit surprising even for GPT-4 actually. At this point you need to say continue and then it continues writing the code. So let me grab the rest of the code from here, copy and paste it at the end of the file. Just save it. Now it's time for grabbing the JS code from here and then paste it again. Oops. Code and here. So, so I think it's good to go and can start testing that. But we are lacking actually some images because a chat GPT uh, doesn't give us the images we need. So I just want to copy my images to this folder. So now my images are in the same folder. Now the only thing I need to do because the foreign is PNG, I want to change it to be PNG here as well. Also you can ask this from ChatGPT to do for you, but it's not worth it to do such small modifications because it takes time. And also, same for logo, I want to change that format to SVG. And now let's run this HTML by the browser. So here's the folder and let's open it with Google Chrome. So this is what we got from ChatGPT. I didn't touch anything actually and the only thing I changed was the format of the images. And you can see that the slider works nicely. The only thing we need to pay attention is the size of the slider. Probably we need to ask ChatGPT to customize the size of the slider for us based on the size of the images we have. We have logo, we have title, we have also the menu here. And also I asked it to link to the menu items to the content. So if I click on this, it jumps to the related section because the length of the section is not long that much. It's not obvious that much, but it goes to directly to the related section and it works fine. And also we have a footer here. So I think in general, ChatGPT did a great job. However, regarding the responsive thing I asked it, uh, it's not quite responsive but in general, I think it did a great job. Now let's try this with GPT 3.5 to see what we get from that. So here I want to do the same thing. I want to open a new chat, choose GPT 3.5. And actually I want to go with legacy mode, which is the free version. And I want to ask exactly the same thing as we have here. So, legacy mode, and then it's good to go. But again, I've already done this before, so I have the code we need to continue. So, let's just stop generating this. And you can see here that it says legacy GPT 3.5, and this is the code we got from 3.5. Let's see the result to compare with the uh, result we got from GPT-4.
So I need to change the format of the images as well. So PNG. You can explicitly ask this from ChatGPT to include SVG and hit refresh. So this is the result we got from GPT 3.5. You can you can see that there are some issues with this result. Also, there are some advantages. So the very first thing. I noticed this slider doesn't work properly in comparison to, to what we had with this one here. The slider here works nicely, but here there is some issue with that. And regarding sections, you can see that the titles are aligned at the middle, uh, which made it look good. But in case of this one, it doesn't look good that much. And also, Regarding the links, they work fine, I think. But you can see that the uh, GPT 3.5 did some modification uh, beyond what we asked it. And, well, you can say that it's a good thing or a bad thing. For instance, here we have a form which we didn't want to have it actually in the first place. So I think GPT-4 did a better job here because it did exactly what we wanted to do, nothing more and nothing less. So I think in this case, GPT-4 did a little bit better job, but not that much. I'm not sure if this is a good reason to actually pay that uh, $20 per month. Now let's try another thing with GPT. So here, the next thing I did to compare GPT-4 to uh, 3.5 was asking ChatGPT to write me a complicated and mystery story about a robot that is looking for his identity. And I was shocked with the result actually. The, the result was really great, the story was complicated and the ending was surprising. So uh, the story starts with the robot's background and then it continues with some details. And then at the end ends the story with a surprising ending that shows that the, uh, actually the creator of the robot transferred her part of consciousness to the robot. It was a great story and it was pretty much longer than I expected to see. I did the same thing with GPT 3.5, you can see the here it's 3.5 and I asked exactly the same thing. And as usual, GPT, chat GPT started with once upon a time, which is really common for chat GPT to start with this. But we didn't see something like this in GPT 4. And also there with GPT 4 we had some titles, some chapters, but here we don't have such thing as chapters. The length is a different that much, but in terms of the story itself, the story wasn't really complicated that much in comparison to what I saw with GPT-4. But generally, no matter it's 3.5 or GPT-4, both, I believe, work amazingly and surprisingly. The result is absolutely mind-blowing and I can't believe that this is coming from a trained model. Now the last thing I want to try is the reasoning of the chat GPT. They mentioned here in the main page that the reasoning is much better and you saw here that it shows GPT-4 reasoning is much better than the other versions. I wanted to see if it's able to, to solve regular IQ questions, but I couldn't find actually a good example, but I just tried with a couple of IQ questions available online. So this is the very first one I tested. Let's try and see the answer first with 3.5. So it says that based on the example, which one of these options is better. Army General and we have this. So the correct answer is company director. Let's see the answer of the 
GPT. The options that are most similar to the example given are Army General, School Student, Hospital, Patient. So I believe ChatGPT didn't even understand the problem. Okay, let's try the same with GPT-4. Okay, at least in this case, the right answer is in the list of answers. So let's look at the reasons. The pairs share similar relation in that first war refers to group organization and second war refers to leadership or key role within that group. In the case of arm general, general is a high ranking leader with the army. Similarly, football players, a key role on a team. Okay, now that, that's the reasoning behind why ChatGPT chose these two options. Now let's take a look at the answer from 3.5. So you can see that I believe in general the reasoning behind GPT-4 is much better if you look at the answers and the, the reasoning is more powerful but it's really hard to say actually even if you look at the result from OpenAI itself. You see that the difference is not really big that much. So if I want to come up with a final conclusion, I would say that it's not worth it to pay the subscription fee to use GPT-4. If you're satisfied with, with the free version of GPT-3.5, well, work with that. The result is good enough. But if you want to have a better speed and accessibility go with the paid version, but not because of GPT-4. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. See you. Bye-bye.